If you're interested in learning how and why you should use Canvas in your online courses, then stick around because I'm sharing with you all the tips and tricks so you can use it to your advantage in your online and even maybe face-to-face -face classes. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss any of my videos coming out every single week about online education. Hi, I'm Ashley Espinosa. I have an MFA in musical theater and I've been teaching online with Canvas for over seven years now. And I have helped hundreds, thousands of educators all over the world transition to online teaching with Canvas LMS. And I'm so excited to help you end your frustration with online education, specifically video content. The first thing I want you to do is just double check to make sure that you have Studio. Studio is an additional element in Canvas, so you have your institution has to pay for that upgrade. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is. I would definitely suggest contacting your administration um, to find out if you don't have it, can you get it? So if you do have it, let me just show you really quickly on my screen what it looks like. If you look at your, in Canvas in your dashboard, if you go to the left-hand sidebar, you'll see this little studio icon. It looks like a computer with a play button inside of it, almost kind of like YouTube, with a bunch of these little, um, uh, little circles down next to it. That's what it looks like. If you can click on it, if you have that, and you click on it and studio opens up, then that means you do have studio so you can use it. This is a great way for students to upload video content, for them to use video for assignments, for you to use it for video content and lecture and messages. And because it's all built in, you have access to recording, screen recording. The next advantage is that because it's built into Canvas, everything is going to work seamlessly versus you having to upload a YouTube video or embed that YouTube code or worry about, you know, if YouTube, if the video you're using, you know, disappears, right? It, it, you're creating the content yourself. You're making sure that it's always going to be there, that you can always access it. And the, another advantage is that there's less clicks, ins and outs for your students. Also with Studio, we now have video quizzes where you can put questions into your actual video content. And another reason is that you own all of the content that you create. So if it's lecture content, if it is content of you talking about your work or your curriculum or the course content, it's a safe way for you to protect it right in Canvas so your students can't download it, they can't you know, copy the link on YouTube. It's just a great way to kind of keep your content protected and to keep that video seamless versus ha them having to click in and out. So here is um, a my Canvas Studio in one of the institutions that I've taught at previously in the past. It's completely empty, which I think is amazing because this is what yours is going to look like in this course. All right, so here's a little overview of um, accessing it and setting it up. Now, the first thing that you're going to have to do is you're probably more than likely going to have to give your computer access both for the audio and the video. So let's just say that we want to first off record some content. I think this is the great way to even test it out for you. Just record some content to see what it's like. The top right hand um, screen here, you'll see it's very concise, very seamless, very simple. You have record where you can record content. I'm going to show you how to do that. You also have the add button where Maybe you already have video content that you created. You can upload those videos there. You can also search for video content as well. Over here, you're gonna be able to create collections of your content. You're gonna have the date added, and you're going to have all of the different videos here as well eventually when you upload them. So you can start by here. You could click add video, and then you could either drag and drop or upload your media. Or on the right side here, you're gonna notice that you have YouTube and Vimeo. So let's say you wanna use a, a YouTube link for your class, which I do this quite often. You can paste this link in here, click add, and it's going to add that video to your Canvas Studio. Now let me warn you, even if you add a YouTube or Vimeo link that you do not own, that's not yours, if that video gets pulled from YouTube because it's copyright, or if the person that created it takes it down, you will no longer have access to that video. So that doesn't mean that you're always going to have the content because as a YouTube 
creator myself, if, if you do this to any of my videos, which please go for it, especially those of you that are teaching theater and whatnot, um, or you're using my tutorials for Canvas or whatnot, you wanna put it in here, absolutely you can do that. I've allowed embedding of my videos. But if I ever decide to cancel my course or cancel my uh, YouTube or put stuff on private, you will no longer have access. It's not like you get to keep the content because essentially you didn't create it, you're just sharing it. So you could do that there as well. Let me exit out of this. Let's go to the top right hand corner and we're gonna click record. We have two options here. The first option is a screen record. Maybe I just wanna record something on my screen for a tutorial for my students, or maybe I want to record some um, tutorial for my canvas, show them where everything is, or maybe it's just some slides for my class. I could also do a webcam catcher. Let's go ahead and do webcam. Okay, once that starts up, let's go over to the left hand side. We're gonna click mic. I'm gonna use my fancy mic that I have. So it's the hype mic. I'm gonna use that one. We're gonna click that. That's my external microphone. I'm gonna click webcam. Uh, I'm going to just use my FaceTime, so my built-in and my camera, and there it is. Hi. <laughs> so this is just my regular built-in camera for my computer. Okay, after I have that all set up, ready to go, all right, I'm gonna click start record. It's gonna count me down. Perfect, I'm ready. Hi everyone, I could do a quick tutorial video here for my students or send them a message, whatever I would like it to be. Whenever I'm done, I would click finish. You could even like record your lectures this way as well. Just a great way built in. Whenever you're done, click finish. Boom, there it is. You can play it back. Hi everyone, I could do a quick tutorial. Amazing, done with one click of a button right here in Canvas. Okay, give it a title. Maybe it's welcome all 2021 okay we're gonna click save media okay there it is here is our first video that is downloading or that's uploading if you will okay so there it is it's gonna take a second to do that just because it's a full video it's gonna process here as well but we can click view and take a look at this here we can edit the details if we want to put some more details in here kind of like the description box on my youtube videos i have more information on there you could put that in here your students can comment on it if you would like them to all you have to do is toggle this over subscribe to comments and they can comment on it if you don't want comments just toggle that off um, insights this is amazing since it's built in now you can see all the insights and analytics of how many of your students have watched that video how long they have watched that video this is just like youtube that i have as a youtuber i can see all these analytics um and you can as well if you post videos on youtube but here's just a great way to keep you inside of canvas again and then we do have captions over here now you could upload your own captions um, there is a requ captions request that you might have. Again, it depends on your school and, and what they have. But if they have this, check it out. Captions, always better to add captions for accessibility. So you can navigate that as well on your end. So that's kind of how we can do just a video to just you know upload it. You could share it here. You could download it. Um, if we click share, we can see you know who can view it, who can edit it. Um, we could create a public link if you want to, but essentially that's how you create one video. Now, how do you use this video that you just created? All you would need to do is let's say you want to go into a course and let's say you want to make that, that's your weekly announcement or whatever it is. Okay. Go into your announcements. Okay. Let's add an announcement. This is just an old course as an example in your RCE box, wherever you are, right? Maybe this is, you're gonna put it in a module, maybe you're gonna put it in a page, whatever content it is, go in here, and then all you have to do is go over to your plugins, and you should have the plugin for Canvas Studio, right? We're gonna click that, and boom, there is your video or videos that you have created or uploaded or added. Click that, select it, and look, right here it's gonna embed it quick and easy, right? Saving you so much time, keeping you and your students inside of Canvas. Okay, you can display media tabs if you'd like to do that. You can display download option if you want them to be able to download it. I don't usually tick that on. Um, and then all we have to do is click embed. Give it a second, but this is a lot faster than anything else. And look, right there it is. They can view it, they can see it. 
quick and easy. Here are all of the elements in here as well. They can make it the quality faster. They can um, have settings options. It's really even better than putting a YouTube video in here. Okay, and then you have all of the insights, the captions, all of this jazz as well that you can work on. Okay, and then all you would do is title this and send it to your students. Great way, number one, to use Studio. Now, just a quick reminder, keep in mind, the first time you record, you may have to take like two or three minutes to tell your computer, yes, you give approval for Studio to use your computer and your microphone. I didn't show you that because I've already done uploaded that in mine, but just, just a quick little check in with you for that. Let me know down in the comments below if you have access to Studio and if you do have access, if you use it. Let me know down in the comments below. So don't forget, you can use this to record lectures, welcome videos, tutorials, anything that you need right here in Canvas. So after you do that and install all the last little bits that you need to, you could record your screen. It's very similar to what I just showed with you, so you can kind of play around with that. You can also click add. So let's click add if you want to drag or drop media there, but let me show you. Let's say, so let's say you want to embed a YouTube video in your class. Here's a great way to do it. So for example, I have a lot of people in the theater world that use my video content for um, their classes. Let's say you want to help um, cutting your sheet music tutorial. This is one video a lot of people use on my channel. As well. Okay, so all you need to do is go down to the share button. Okay, we're gonna copy that link. We're gonna go into Studio. We're gonna click edit, and we're going to paste that file in there. We're gonna add video. After we add it, it's going to go directly here. You'll see into my into my Canvas Studio, which then I can share that exact tutorial just like I showed you with the last one. And you should be able to also here, great another little tip we'll move into next is create a quiz. So you can also annotate it, you can share it, you can move it, all that jazz. But for the sake of being concise with this video, let me show you how you can create a video quiz. So. Let's say I want them to watch this video and I wanna make sure they watched it the entire way through. So I'm gonna put in quiz questions throughout it. Okay, so sheet music tutorial, all right? We'll put a description in here, whatever the description is, okay? Hide question markers, you can choose these. Let's just leave them there for the time being, okay? We're gonna click get started. Again, the more you do this and play around with it, the easier it gets, but again, start simple. Just try maybe one something really short. So you can see the whole video down here is 20 minutes. Let's go to the bottom left-hand corner where you see that plus sign. Let's click that. We're gonna add a question. So let's add true or false, okay? So add a question. So you'd add your question here. I'm just gonna say, should you cut your 16 bars? Okay, just for a sake. True or false, let's say it's true, yes, all right? You can do, um, you can build this out as well, but I'm gonna keep this short and simple just to give you an idea. We're gonna click save, so there's our question. Let's add, let's add one more just so we can go back and see what it looks like, okay? So let's hit plus. Let's do, you can pick whatever you want, but I'm just, for sake of time, I'm just gonna do true and false. Now, when we're done, at the top right-hand corner, we're gonna click the done button, okay? So let's go ahead and just preview that. Let's throw it into an assignment here. Let's just create a page really quickly. Okay, so we're just creating a test page to see what it looks like here. Again, we're gonna do just what we did before, which is go to our plugins. We're gonna click Canvas Studio. Okay, and we're gonna click the video quiz, all right? Video quiz embed, and that's what we're gonna do right there. We're gonna click embed on that, and then let's see what it looks like. Okay, perfect. They are gonna tell us they're, they're, that they are preparing the quiz. Okay, there it is. It's in here as well. Okay, let's click save. Okay, after we click save, we always want to double check it with our students. Again, I haven't published it yet. Now notice if it's a YouTube video, it's gonna pull all of the other YouTube jazz, so you'll probably wanna go through and edit all of it. And then you're gonna have the quiz results in here as well with your analytics. So, so let's just check it out. We're gonna click get started. Again, always test every single thing, every assignment, every quiz that you do. We always wanna test get rid it. Get of the pages that I don't. And here's the example of the question. So as I'm going through and watching the video, when the questions pop up, it's gonna show me what it looks like. So here's the second question. This pops up in your video. And then it would be your question, whatever question you come up with, and then the true or false or multiple choice or however you have set it up. You're probably very similar, or you're probably very aware of this with quizzes. 
in Canvas, it's the same thing, just in a video. All right, so we're gonna click the answer, whatever it is, okay? And they can either click rewatch or they can put their answer in and click continue. So let's delete. And then they would go through the rest of the video just like that, and they would have to answer all of the questions. It will put all of the results down at the bottom and kind of tell you who's watching it, are they answering the questions, and it's just a great way to make them, to encourage them to watch the video from top to bottom. Another great way you can use Canvas besides just recording videos to send to your students or screen recordings, um, you can do the, the quiz and do the quiz test for them. But another way is for them to actually upload video content as well. Now, my husband actually uses this quite often in his class and he's given me permission to share an example, but also protecting his students' privacy as well. So you're gonna notice that they can actually go into their own studio, just like I showed you on my end. They can go into their studio and they can record video straight in or upload video just like I did and showed you on your end. And then they can use that as an assignment. So they can add in this video into the RCE box as their assignment and have a video upload instead. So a great way that we use it as performers is we can utilize that video where students can comment and give feedback. And they also can comment on certain time, certain portions of the video in a timestamp fashion. So if you're wanting to have your students do a speech or a presentation or whatnot, um, they can upload it and then you and other students in the class can give feedback at exactly a certain point. So if you want to say, you know, hey, this portion of your speech um, it, it didn't follow the formula that I gave you, then you can tag that and timestamp it so they can refer back to it. Really easy, really fantastic way to incorporate video into your class. And the best part about all of this is it keeps them all in studio and you're bridging that gap we have in online classes, which is not having enough video face-to-face -face time as we would in the normal classroom. So that's really what we're doing here is kind of taking the classroom from just being online, just text, just video, or just text, just audio, um, just photos, to now fully integrating video so you can communicate and connect with your students. If you need more help with Canvas, don't forget to check out my entire Canvas playlist series tutorials I've got for you. I will link that down below in the description box. And if you're having some challenges or you get a little nervous recording video content, I do have a couple of recent videos that I uploaded about what free programs to use and also how to be more confident on camera for you as an educator. Check those out next as well to really up your video content game. Hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to click the like button if you did. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more of my videos in the future. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.